Squonking again? <laughs> Hello fellow vapers, Vaping Movie here, and we're going to be looking at two new pieces of hardware, the Dead Rabbit RDA and the Vaporstorm Raptor. So let's get to the Dead Rabbit. Okay, so the front of the box, it has Hell Vape Dead Rabbit. A project by Heathen, Vaping Heathen, of course. The back side of this, it says, uh, it gives you the features of the, um, the RDA uh, right here. And then down here, the contents. So you turn it around and let's open up and see what's inside. Okay, on the box, um, really, on, I should have, I it didn't show you on the side, it has that. You know, this, um, if you have a, a smartphone or something like that, you can verify the authenticity. On the other side, it just gives you more pictures of the features, if you will. And, and on the bottom, it's just their UPC as well as the color. Um, I'm not 100% sure of all the colors. I know it comes in stainless steel and black. I have the black. Uh, inside, you have a little baggie of goodies. It has a uh, two, two Allen keys. It has... Um, some spare O-rings. It has an adapter for the uh, 510 drip tip. It has some grub screws uh, if you want to change out your screws. And it has that. And that right there, that brass is the 510 pin if you want to change it out from being a squonker. And unlike my previous video, this actually came with the squonk pin installed. The bottom there is the a number attached to it. And uh, underneath it has Hell Vape. Um, you have the Hell Vape logo. You do have dual size uh, or dual uh, airflow, which is indeed adjustable. And when you take it out, you can see the different adjustments that you can do. So you can indeed have it shut down and have a single air, a single coil build. So you can shut down. Now you can see there's, obviously there's, there's a build inside and it's got some juice. Okay. So this is the Hell Vape. Um, I'm sorry, a Dead Rabbit. And we'll take a look at the build deck in just a minute. Before I show you the build deck, I want to show you if you're paying attention right in this area here. I'm sorry. This area here. When I push the squonk bottle, you see the juice come out. Now, the build on this has been sort of played with here. Um, it, it looks very high. Now, I make sure that the, the cotton is in the area where the juice is coming out. And you might look at that and say, Gord, that is a really high build. How about some focus? That would, that would really help if I get that focus. There we go. Well, a bit better. There we go. And um, it is it is rather high, but when I put the top cap on, you're going to see and hopefully see how high it is. I'm trying to line it up with the airflow on that, so that's an important factor as well for me to make sure that uh, the airflow is right where the um, right where the the coils end up. Okay, part two is the, the box mod. In this case, the, the Vaporstorm Raptor box mod. Um, really just Raptor, color choices, corporate information, not much there. On the back, oops, if it's not upside down, again, it gives you some features and then what's included in the box. Open it up. And you have an instruction booklet, which in this case, you really should keep a hold of. I think you should always keep all of them, just in case. The cautionary card that comes with it, an inspector uh, card. And then you have uh, this tube, which, when placed onto an 18650 negative side, uh, will I'll use, of course, 18650. You have, which is unusual for this, a USB cord. 
and we'll talk about that in a minute. And then you have very tightly in there. I'm sure, you guys like seeing my knuckles. The box. So uh, let's take a look at this a bit closer. So let's take a tour around the uh, the Raptor. This is the front side. So we'll pull out that panel, and you can see the the battery compartment here. The the juice. Uh, the, the, the squonk bottle for the juice up here, which feeds up into the uh, connection to the squonker on the top. You turn it around. There is another side panel. We'll take that off. And again, you see this, the back of the battery. You see uh, the back of the juice bottle. And then you see here uh, the connection for that uh, USB cord, which we'll talk about in a moment. Uh, and that's really all that's in there that you can see on this side. Uh, there is the fire button, and um, there's there is some etching on the on on the bottle. Or I'm sorry, on the uh, on the mod, it says V Storm, and then on the uh, panel here, uh, it says Storm. So I think they're trying to get you know try to get a point through. Um, you put in the battery, and it's ready to fire right away. So as soon as you put the battery in, and again, it's negative side up, the battery is ready to go, okay? Uh, generally speaking, if you want to carry it in your pocket or purse, it's five clicks, and it goes off. So there is no current that goes to the battery. Um, another feature here, or I don't know, I'm not going to call it a feature. It's just, it's weird is what it is. Uh, if I put this battery back in, it's ready to go. Now, you might see here... When I push that button, you get a little disco show going on. I'm not sure what the hell that's for. Um, but I just press it three times, the, the fire button, and it goes off. So it just disappears. I'm not quite sure why they would do that. Uh, another another feature I like, uh, safety feature, if you will. So we have already the the safety feature of the, uh, the, the fire button that you're able to turn on and turn off. Uh, but if I put the battery in wrong side up, nothing happens. If there is no atomizer on it, or in this case the um, the, the squonk RDA, you get a red flash. Okay, that's just to tell you that there is no uh, RDA on it, or no, nothing that's connecting to that uh, the the connection on the top. And there you go. See again, you have that one, two, three, and it's gone. Uh, another thing I should point out is uh, with the with the uh, the um, I'm sorry the adapter as I mentioned you can use 18650s but I just found that I went through them very quickly uh, so let's go well hey you know what let's talk about the USB connection um, unlike mechanical mods uh, this you can actually have onboard charging now it's not something I do but you have it there. And even to the point where you can use it while it's hooked up to your computer. Uh, and again, it's not something I would do. I'd rather just have the batteries ready and change it out. So let's go up top and talk a bit more about it. Okay, so to, to finish up before my final thoughts on the mod, um, it is what is, is considered unregulated. It's not quite a mechanical mod because it has built-in safety features. I don't see the downside to that, okay? Um, it has the, what, they, what they call the smart lock, which is simply it goes on and off with five clicks of the button. It has a, a low power warning. So when your battery starts to drain, that uh, red light goes off on the switch. Um, over a period of time, if it's, if it's been pressed for too long, it will shut itself off. It has short circuit protection for your build as well as high temperature protection. So having said all of that, it really is... Um, a, a, a very, very, or a more secure mod, okay, uh, under a mechanical guise. There is no uh, changing of temperature. There is no uh, changing of, of wattage. Um, always remember when you're using something like this that it will only take or only give you the power that the battery will allow with the build you have. Um, but the plus side to that is when the battery goes low. And my batteries have gone low. Uh, and, and you can feel it. You can actually feel the battery draining. Uh, but I just wanted to see how good that warning would last and sure enough boom went red changed up my batteries and again I have to mention the battery safety factor okay you want to make sure your batteries are in very good shape um, so let's get to, to my final thoughts
Okay, before we get to the final thoughts, I just put in some more juice into the bottle. And again, the connection is just simply slide it in, place the battery. I'm sorry, place the bottle, battery goes in. You get a flashing on the, green, the light, and you're ready to go. Okay, so we, we got all that together. My final thoughts on it. Um, so we looked at two pieces today. We looked at an RDA and we looked at a mod. So uh, let's break that into two. We have the RDA. So the Dead Rabbit by Hellvate, Dead Rabbit named after the uh, the gang, the gangs in New York, Leonardo. Um, pretty good film. Um, I'm sort of on a fence on this RDA. Uh, again, it has a dual functionality in that um, it it can be used as a 510 dripper or a squonking uh, dripper. Having said that, I find that the um, the well is kind of shallow. The well is kind of shallow for a, for a dripper, but uh, for a 510 dripper, anyhow. Uh, you don't need a deep well for squonking, of course, but you do for, for uh, just regular dripping. I'm like this on that. Um, I like the flavor that I'm getting. I like the taste that I'm getting out of it. And I'm not a person that goes after clouds. Uh, but let's keep in mind, folks, I made a big mistake on this one. Um, you might remember at the beginning I was saying when I was talking about the build that I kept the coils high to match up with the airflow, which was a mistake on my part because what it did, it created a lot of heat at the top, so my next build will be lower. Um, the one thing this, this lacks, and, and I like the aesthetics of it. I like the fact that it's black all the way down. I think it looks good on the mod. Um, but the one thing that bothers me about it is is the airflow. The airflow just is not good for me. I, I'm now having used the, the Troll Dripper, having used the Bonza uh, Squonker. I like airflow. That's just me. Now, there are those that, and, and I'm one of them, that will tighten the airflow and it seems to give a bit more flavor. Uh, so maybe the combination of lowering the coils, getting rid of that heat that I'm, that I'm getting that's not dissipating, uh, we'll change my mind on that. But right now, I wish there was more airflow. Now, Hellvape does, in keeping with the gangs of New York team, carry what they call competition caps. And I want to make sure, I want to make sure that I'm saying this right because I don't want to misread them. But they're saying that uh, it has direct to coil wide open airflow. Well, I would have appreciated wide open airflow when I bought the first thing without having to buy a secondary piece. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to go into competition. I just like airflow. So that was the big downer for me. Other than that, it's an easy build deck again. Um, the juice flow. Now, I used the same juice on this as I did on my last walk in my last video, uh, which was Attitude Adjustment by uh, Economy e -Six. And um, so the juice, the flow of the juice from the bottle into the dripper was better on the Dead Rabbit. So that is a plus. Uh, again, like the looks of it. Um, the fact that you can put a 510 drip tip if you want, but that's so global now, so I can't really say that's a, such a big positive. But overall, not a bad RDA. Uh, the next piece was the uh, Raptor by um, Vaporstorm. And um, there's so much to like and a couple of things I don't, but so much to like. It's, it's all encompassing. It's the safety factors. Um, if people are just, squonking seems to be the new thing that's, that's come around. And if newer vapors get into it, an all mechanical mod might not be their best step. Maybe an unregulated mod. By unregulated, of course, um, all that means is that you don't determine the, the, the power or the force of your vape. That's determined by a combination of the build and how much power is in your battery. Okay? Uh, you cannot dial it down. You cannot dial it up. It is what it is. Over a period of time, as the battery fades, the power diminishes your vape will diminish. And another plus on, on this mod is as that battery diminishes, when it gets to a, a, a let's say, crucial point, you know, I'm not trying to sound overly dramatic, um, you get that red light. Now, my, my battery's pretty fresh, so it's not going to light up red right now. But uh, you do get a red light, and I've tested that. It works out really well. Um, on a 2700 battery, now this takes three different types of batteries, the 18650 with the adapter, the 2700, which is what I have in right now, and the 21700, um, which, you know, I'm, I'm happy with the 2700. 
um, I, I, I started vaping this with a fresh 2700 about quarter after four in the morning. I wake up early, folks, and change it at one o'clock in the afternoon. Now, that's not all day vaping, that's occasional vaping and lunches and breaks, the walk to work, so on and so forth. So um, I did get a good quality or a good amount of time off that one battery. Uh, as I mentioned in my previous video, um, the beauty of squonking is you don't have to carry so many bottles of juice in your pockets uh, like you do when you're dripping, but you do have to carry batteries, okay? And it's functional, uh, it's, it's practical for driving as well. And I gave that a whirl just today because the first time I really was out driving around and it came out really good. Uh, so you have all that positive uh, factors in the, the, the Raptor. Now the negative. There are only two. Uh, one is so minor. I'm not even sure I should mention it, but I will. It's the build of it. It's all 90 degree angles almost. Uh, it's not comfortable in your hand. It's not a matter of weight. The weight is very good. It's just not comfortable in my hand. That's just that's just me. The second thing that bothers me bothers me even more, a lot more. And that's this panel right here. Now this panel is, as you can see, it's the access you have to the squonk bottle. Now, you need to have that access in order to push the bottle to get the juice to flow. Um, this is Canada, eh? So when you when it's minus, and I'm talking Celsius here, when it's minus 15 Celsius, you got gloves on. And this actually happened to me. I put my finger to push the squonk bottle, my finger, I have my gloves on, it's stuck in this hole and that panel came off really well. Hey, vapor storm, use more magnets or stronger magnets, okay? Because there, you don't, there's no rattle. However, the panel does move. Whoops, uh, see? The panel does move. I'm not giving it that much force. I, I'm surprised that came off. But it's, it has come off several times. So when you're vaping it, you feel it move. So that's just something I wish they would have thought a bit more about. But I think the safety features far outweigh that, okay? Uh, so again, when I do these videos, it's for people like me. that just stepping, you know, putting their toes in the water. That's what this was. It was just the second time of it. Now, does that mean I'm going to run out and buy a, a regulated uh, squonker? Yeah, probably, because that's what I do. But um, that is to say that, again, that sort of step process, I went from a mechanical mod to an unregulated mod, uh, and you do find a difference. You will have a bit more of a comfort level with the unregulated. So that's it, folks. That's, uh, again, the Dead Rabbit by Hellvape. It's not a bad RDA, just I wish they would have improved the airflow. And the uh, Raptor by Vaporstorm. Love everything about it, just wish that that panel was a bit more secure. And that's it. Uh, would I recommend them? Yeah, uh, definitely the Raptor because, it, again, for newer squonkers, it does give you a sense of security. And the Dead Rabbit, eh, I'll be honest, if you're looking for a, a you know an easy to build RDA to go on it, I probably would lean towards the Bonza, okay? Uh, just for the airflow alone. Other than that, it's not a bad deal overall. So I want to thank you. I want to thank you for joining. I hope you got something out of it because you know. I love having you over. So please, stay healthy and happy vaping. Take care, folks.